Global concern as Afghanistan bans university education for females. Morocco's Atlas Lines receive a hero's welcome on their return home. Meanwhile, Lionel Messi is airlifted out of the trophy parade in Buenos Aires. And finally, Qatar looks ahead to adding more major sporting events with a dip into rugby. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Afghanistan's Taliban rulers have banned university education for females nationwide, causing international concern. The ban comes less than three months after thousands of girls and women sat university entrance exams across the country. The news has deeply concerned Qatar, which has mediated between Afghanistan and much of the Western world since the Taliban captured control of Kabul. Washington has since condemned the decision in the strongest terms, and Human Rights Watch has described it as a, quote, shameful move. Now, after making history by coming Coming fourth at the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar, Morocco's Atlas Lions were given a hero's welcome upon their return home to Rabat. Hundreds of thousands of Moroccans turned out to greet the players who were on an open top bus with flares, chants and flags painting the town red. Morocco's deep run at the World Cup was nothing short of historic. The team became the first African and Arab squad to reach the final four, beating the likes of Belgium, Spain and Portugal on the way. And the Moroccans were not the only team to get a hero's welcome. Argentina's World Cup hero were met with more than 4 million ecstatic fans. However, the team was forced to abandon an open-top bus parade in Buenos Aires over security concerns. Lionel Messi and co. were airlifted via helicopters to complete celebrations, as the originally planned route to the central Obelisco monument was completely blocked off. Some fans tried jumping onto the team's bus as it passed under a bridge. And finally, with the mega-successful 2022 FIFA World Cup in the rear view, Qatar is moving on to the next big project. British media reports say the Gulf state is now in talks to stage the British and Irish Lions rugby test match in 2025. Qatar's bid to host the Lions involves a one-off game in preparations for the 2025 series in Australia. Qatar's Rugby Federation have at the same time opened talks with the World Cup's organizing committee about gaining regular access to one of the tournament's eight stadiums. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.